guys welcome back to my channel my name is Connie I'm Connie's country finds on eBay and country underscore finds on Poshmark and I have been working like a dog today and that is why I am a complete disaster so please ignore that part we're not here for a beauty contest I am here to show you a hack that I had come up with today that is going to make measuring on my slanted table much easier. Now, if you haven't seen the video, I made a video on how my husband made my slanted table for me, and it has been a back saver for sure. And I'll show you what I was doing before with my measurements, which wasn't a bad thing, you know. I just figured there's gotta be an easier way. So I was just using my fabric tape measure and say I want to measure the waist, I was just taking the fabric tape measure and clipping it on to here, holding it there and taking my photo, okay? Which is fine, okay? It works, right? Well, I'm like, okay, there's gotta be an easier, quicker way. So, I come up with an idea and it just takes a little bit of arts and crafts. And I'm going to take you to my kitchen and show you what you need for this. So if you have a slanted table and you're having measurement problems, this might be an idea for you. Totally up to you. So we are in my kitchen. I'm going to bend you down here so you can see what I I got going on. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need a measuring stick, a yard stick. I went in and told them I needed a metal one. This is aluminum. I just picked up the cheapest one they had, not realizing it was aluminum. Well, magnets don't stick to aluminum very well. So I will show you. It doesn't stick. It falls right off. Okay? So, what you'll need is your yardstick. You will need some magnets. Just go to the Dollar Tree. And they have these kind of magnets. They're magnet buttons. And they're by Crafter Square. You get 12 of them. You will need your measuring tape, a glue gun, glue, and some Velcro tape, which Dollar Tree also carries. Okay, so just a side note, the reason I bought these and had them on hand was, this is another hack for you, it has nothing to do with reselling, but we, have a shower curtain liner in our bathroom and it used to have a sliding door well we took the sliding door off because I didn't want to have to deal with the sliding door and cleaning it all the time so we just put up fabric curtain and a liner and but the liner every time we turned on the shower it would blow in on us well I can't stand that that drives me absolutely insane to have the shower curtain on me so I took these magnets and put them all across the bottom of the shower curtain. Well, when he took the door off, he didn't remove the metal strip that the door slides in. So all we do now is take the shower curtain, lift it up a little bit so it sticks onto that metal track and it doesn't blow in on us. So that worked out perfectly. So I ended up having some of these left. So that's another idea for you guys if you have the same problem. All right, so as far as the yardstick goes, what you'll do is you'll take Velcro and you'll put it, you'll glue it here. I put some in the middle as well and on this end. And then I took two magnets, one here at the end and one here, okay? so. What you could do, actually I'm going to add, I think, another magnet over here. 
<clears throat> just to give it some more stability. Just take your hot glue gun, be very careful. I have burnt myself several times doing this video today. Okay, so, and then what you'll do, I have my other magnet on there. Then what you'll do is you'll take your measuring tape and you will put it at the very end of your uh, metal, your, I lose my words all the time here, your yardstick, there it is, and you'll line it up at the end and you will glue a magnet on the end of your tape measure, okay? And then you'll take it all the way down and looks like I have to add another one. Just make sure you use good glue and because that way it's not falling off. I thought I dropped something earlier and it was the other glue or the other magnet. So I have to put another magnet on here. Just attach it to the other magnet, as you could see right here. And then I'm gonna add one more magnet on here while I'm in here, might as well. Make sure that you get the magnets correctly so they stick together. Because if you try to put it here, it's going to fly away. So make sure you stick it correctly. And then just add a little bit of glue on there. And I'm just going all the way to the end of the arch stick. All right, so that's pretty much all you do as far as the arts and crafts part of it go. So you have your Velcro on the back of it, which is what is going to help hold this onto the fabric on your table. Then you have your magnets, which are going to help hold your measuring tape on, okay? So let's go back into the other room and let's, I'll show you how I do this. Unplug this and that. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing okay and having good sales. Mine are slow, but you know, it happens allows me to get this stuff done. Actually, I'm going to put you over here. I think you see better over here. There we go. I'm trying to adjust you here. I have the worst time adjusting. There we go. Let's uh, turn on some lights. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll grab whatever you're measuring, okay? The magnet that you put closest to the end, actually stick your thing on here, it sticks just fine, right up there. And what I have here is um, batting. My original thought was to be able to stick this under there, under the, my shower curtain, and it stick, but it wouldn't work that way, and I'd have to adjust it all the time, and it was just a mess. So, I have the batting, and then I have a shower curtain over it, because I did not like the way that the batting was giving me a background. I wanted a pure white background, so I put the shower curtain over it so I could have a better white background. 
So what you'll do is you will line up your jeans or whatever you're measuring to the very end over here, to your closest to your magnet. And then you will take your measuring tape and put that right there. Just put it on, the, on your magnets. And then you can take the photo. That's what that looks like. Now, if you want this closer, you can always use the clothespin, okay? So, cause jeans, it's off just a little bit. It works best with uh, tops doing pit to pit and the inseam on the jeans, like I'm going to show you. So now we're gonna do the inseam. Just take that off. Lift your pants up. And your inseam is always from the crotch down. So you'll just put this here at the crotch down. You see how the Velcro helps hold that on there? And then you add your measuring tape. And that gives you the inseam size. Okay much faster than trying to clip it. Now, I'll show you a shirt. I have a shirt right here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put this down. That's where I want it. I want it to hang off a little bit. And then, now if you have fabric that has a little more pile, that Velcro is gonna hold it better, hold on to that better. So I suggest when you make one of these to get uh, maybe a blanket, a pure white blanket, which I'm going to do, a fleece blanket or something like that to give you the pure white background, rather than something smooth, because that will help hold the clothes on as well and they won't slide down except for silk, you'll have to put those on a hanger and a, uh, hang it from like a hook or something. But this, the Velcro will hold on better to something that has more grip to it, but this is fine. And then I'm just gonna add my shirt close to this magnet. So it will be measured pit to pit. that. Add this. On there. Move it over. And <clears throat> you can take your photo. It's a pit measurement. And it will work the same is when you're doing a length measurement as well. So you can either move the shirt where you want it and then slide this underneath it. But I have found that it's easier just to put that down and then add the shirt. Measurements are approximate anyways, and you should always put that in your listings, that measurements are flat lay approximate, which is what I do. But most people know that. And there you go. There's that. 
so I hope that helped you guys. I hope it gave you some ideas if you do have the slanted table. Like I said, if you haven't seen the video on how my husband made this, I will have it linked below for you guys. So if you enjoyed this kind of video, give me a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, turn on no notifications so you know when my next video is coming up. And I hope you guys are making a lot of sales. Have a great day and stay safe. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.